Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about one of what I think are the best features of iOS 15. Uh, Apple Private Relay is now included for free if you subscribe to iCloud uh, or I, uh, if you subscribe to iCloud Plus. So iCloud Plus is an add-on to regular iCloud when you pay the $3 a month plan or higher. Um, you get Apple Relay Plus, which is kind of like a VPN light, if you will. So uh, this phone right here and this phone are both on Get More. This is on uh, Verizon's tablet plan. <clears throat> All three are on Verizon Wireless. Uh, so uh, Tablet Plus, Get More, Get More. This line is my coworkers. He does not pay to remove the video throttle. Uh, uh, all of Verizon plans throttle video down to 720p. He does not pay to remove the video throttle. I pay to remove the video throttle, and I do not pay to remove the video throttle over here. So this one uh, should be capped at 10 megabits per second. This one should be capped at 40, because even when you pay to remove the throttle, it's still capped at 40 megabits per second. And this one is capped at about uh, 4.8 megabits per second. So what we're gonna do first is run a speed test just to get a baseline uh, on all these devices. They're all connected to the same server, so we're gonna run them one at a time and get a baseline speed that the network is providing back here uh, in this room. I might speed this up in post-production. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. All right, we're gonna start that one. <clears throat> now, the reason I'm running these one at a time is because if you put uh, all of them running at the same time, it's gonna stress out the cell site uh, and you know start applying throttles to the lines based on the plan. So uh, there we go, and now we can run it over here on the iPad. <clears throat> so again, uh, no Apple Relay set up on this one, no Apple Relay set up on this one. This one's running Apple Relay. Uh, so uh, now I pay $10 a month to remove the video throttle on this line. So the speed should come out the same or close to uh, what you're seeing here on the speedtest.net app. Uh, you know, his was a little bit better for some reason, but it's, you know, I'd say it's well within the margin of error. Uh, same thing over here on the iPad. Now the iPad, this is a 2021 iPad Pro with the M1 chip inside of it. So I do pretty consistently notice slightly better speeds on it, uh, probably just due to that extra processing power that the device has. All right, so now that we have a baseline, we are gonna run the fast.com app, uh, which is testing your connection to Netflix, uh, testing your connection to their server. So this should give us a pretty good idea. And again, like I was saying, his should top out around 4.6 uh, down, or I'm sorry, 3.8 down, that's the actual number. Uh, for the uh, lines that are that don't pay to remove the video throttle. Now over on this line, I do pay to remove the video throttle. So let's see what happens over there. Wow, it's quite the jump. Uh, yep. So there's the paid uncapped video throttle, which if the network connection was faster here, it would top out around 40. And then here is iCloud Plus with Apple Relay turned on. Wow. So that's with Apple Relay turned on. Uh, now again, I don't know why it's so different from what I'm getting on my iPhone. It could be the extra processing power of the M1. It could be that it's a bigger device, so it's getting the signal a little bit better. We are in a back room surrounded by bricks, so uh, you know that's part of it. But uh, so yeah, Un no money paid to remove the video throttle. Paid to remove the video throttle. No money paid to remove the video throttle with Apple Relay turned on. So. This is a great feature of iCloud Plus and a great feature of iOS 15. Aside from making your data connection more private and secure, it's also helping you save a little bit of money by not having to pay 
extra money to your carrier to remove the video throttle. If you like the video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, uh, put the bubble right there for you, and uh, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.